Hey everyone, this is Mark, and in this video, we're going to be checking out a couple of storage solutions from Sabrent. These products are useful for everybody who needs a lot of storage and multiple ways to use it. In this video, we're going to be checking out their 5-bay docking station along with the Rocket Nano external SSD drive. So let's get started and take a look at this giant hard drive docking station. So this is a 5-bay docking station, and what it really does is just connect your hard drives to your computer. There's no computer logic behind this machine, and that is all up to your software RAID. We'll talk a little bit about that in a minute, but let's talk a little bit about this piece of hardware right here. So on the front, we have five different hard drive doors. What's really cool about this is that none of them require tools. All you do is you simply open the latch, open the door, stuff your hard drive in, close the door and you're good to go. You don't need screwdrivers, you don't need tools, there's no screws or anything in there. You just stick your hard drive in, close the door, and that's it. My only real complaint with the hard drive docking station is that it is a little bit hard to put in your drives. The door kind of pushes them into place, but it makes it harder to do that as well because of the fact that you can't push it all the way in with the door and the hinge. I feel like I'm gonna break the door. It's just a little difficult and complicated. The entire enclosure is made out of metal. It's super solid and heavy. Even when you load it up with hard drives, it becomes even more heavy. The front doors are made of plastic, but we have a nice metal lock. Using the included key, you can lock the door to make sure that no drives can get opened and corrupt data. So that's really nice to see. On the back, we have a 120 millimeter fan. We got a power toggle, a power port, and what's even cooler is that this has an integrated power supply so you don't have to have any brick laying around on the ground, which is super nice. And we have a couple of interesting things on the back. Along with our Kensington lock, we also have two USB-C ports. One of them is labeled main and the other one is hub. Main is gonna go from this hardware right here to your computer. This is what's gonna directly connect them. And our secondary port called hub is just a USB-C port. If you have an older computer that doesn't have a USB-C port on it, this is gonna give it one. This is essentially a USB-C hub. So let's say you have this right here, this external Rocket Nano SSD. This is a USB-C drive. Let's say you don't have a USB-C port, you plug it into here. It's actually really convenient. It gives you the option to have a USB-C port on your computer, even if your computer doesn't have one. And best of all, this can pass that data through without any loss at all. Both of these USB-C ports on the back are USB 3.1 Gen 2, works with Thunderbolt 3, USB-C, and it even comes with a cable in the box to convert that USB-C port to a traditional USB-A. So you can use this on pretty much anything, and that USB-C 3.1 Gen 2 is gonna have enough bandwidth to also support other devices as well. So like I said, this does not have any computer logic behind it, meaning it's basically just a direct connection of the hard drive to your computer. If you have five hard drives in here, it's gonna show up as five hard drives on your computer. If you want to ensure that you have redundancy and you don't lose data in case a drive fails, you will need to set up a software RAID. That can be done on pretty much every computer. I did on Mac OS, using their software RAID feature inside Disk Utility. And you have a couple of different options. I set up a RAID 1. I only have two drives in here right now, but what a RAID 1 does, what you write to it is gonna be written to actually twice. So you can lose one drive and you're not gonna lose any data. You can swap out that dead drive and it will rebuild the array and you'll be back up and running. You can also do RAID 0, which will just basically double the speed and put two drives as one. You're gonna lose data on everything if you lose one drive. And there's other RAID options as well. And you can even get third-party software if you really want to do that. I tested out both RAID 0 and RAID 1 and performance speeds are pretty great. The RAID 0 option on a MacBook Pro with a Thunderbolt 3 port, we're pushing 500 megabytes a second. It's about 250 to 300 with a RAID 1. And those speeds are only slightly slower on a USB 3 connection. If you are looking for something that does RAID on its own, this may not be the option for you, but it does give you the ability to still share it with the network. Because this was set up on a Mac, the way it works is I can take this and put it on another Mac. All of the RAID information is stored actually on the drives itself rather than the computer. 
So I can swap out Mac computers and it will still show up, no issues. I can't use this on Windows, for example, but you can also set it up on Windows and then share it through your network over SMB and you can turn this into a NAS if you want. If you're looking for something that's standalone, you only want this box, you may want to look other places, but then again, you could hook this up to a Raspberry Pi if you really want to, and you can turn that into a server. So there's a lot of options you can do with this. Now, I think doing the server option would actually be pretty cool because this is a little bit loud. Five hard drives clicking away is loud as it is, but we also got this giant 120 millimeter fan on the back. Now it does its best job that it possibly can to keep the fan off if it needs to, so there's this physical power switch on the back. If you turn that on and none of the drives are mounted, this is gonna stay off, the drives will stay off. You'll need to manually power each drive on with the power buttons on the front if you wanna turn those drives on. If your computer goes to sleep and the hard drives go to sleep, the fan turns off. The fans only turn on when the hard drives are actually physically moving. So that's pretty much any time it's actually mounted and in use. And it is kind of loud, there's no control, there's no variation, there's no fan curve, so it's loud, it's a little annoying. So you may wanna put this in a closet and set it up as a server. But you have that option, and if you don't wanna do that, you don't have to as well. There's a lot of options you can do with this. Now talking about this Rocket Nano SSD right here, this is an M.2 NVMe drive inside this USB 3.1 Gen 2 enclosure, and this is really fast. They say up to one gigabyte a second, I've been getting in the neighborhood of about 700 megabytes a second, but this is still pretty fast. It's super tiny, like incredibly small. This is a terabyte and they go much, much bigger than this. They start at 512 gigabytes, but you can get up to about four terabytes if you want. It's very lightweight, compact, portable, and it's super fast. I really like this drive a lot. And it comes in this awesome metal tin if you want to store it in that. But this goes great alongside this. They have matching colors. You can use the hub built into this to power this drive if you want. I previously used to use a Samsung T3, and this is much smaller, much faster, cheaper, and it's about four times as large. So this is a really cool drive. And this also does come with your USB-C to C and a C to A cable. So you can use this on pretty much any computer you want. Either way you want, you can configure this and do anything you want. It's super cool, and I highly recommend these products. Links will be down in the description below. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark at Tech, and I will see you in the next one.